So what is it about the thinking uh, that in David's work around TED, what, what is it that excites you that uh, the TED framework can help people see a new self-image other than just being a victim? The self-image is a way we think of ourselves that actually has a neurobiological substrate. That um, the thoughts that we hold actually are replicated in our body and in our body's chemistry and in our body's neurophysiology. So that um, a belief is not simply just in the mind, but it's mind and body. So it's essential when we're working with something like um, TED to really recognize that we can shift a belief, but we have to be able to shift the biological substrate that's holding the belief in place. And I think that's what David has the potential of doing through TED, is being able to help people become aware that it's complex, these concepts of victimization. And there needs to be a change in the reality, and particularly a change in the reality of the way the body is holding that memory. Mm. So uh, the idea of TED moving f to the empowerment dynamic. Say more about the idea of learning to uh, move your orientation of your thinking from victim to that simple question of creator. What do I want? What, what gets you excited about that framework? Well, it's a major shift. It's a major transformation. It's the transformation of the implicit memory system that is in the right hemisphere of the brain that's holding the old memory of I am a victim uh, and the transformation of this memory into the possibility of a new future. Not a future based on the past and the old memory, but a future based on the possibilities that are in the future. The possibilities of who I really can be when I do have my sense of power, when I do have my sense of agency. I do have my sense of who I am in the world, who I am in my own pathway. Mm. Mm. So for anyone that's listening, what, uh, what could you say to them about uh, oh, reading The Power of Ted and doing this kind of work? What, what, any recommendations? Well, you know what I would suggest? As you read The Power of Ted, take time to reflect. Read a few sentences. And then notice what's going on in your body. Where are you feeling it? What are you noticing? What's happening? Is your heart starting to pound a little heavier? Is your stomach starting to clench up? Are you starting to feel uh, really comfortable? Are you starting to feel freed up? Just simply notice. And what you're doing by connecting the beliefs and the reading and the thoughts that David has expressed in The Power of Ted with your body's own somatic reaction is you're allowing for a small transformation of that belief system. 